Hello, happy day four of our thankful for 30 challenge. So today, I know I gave you a homework assignment yesterday, but I'm gonna give you another one. It's basically just gonna kind of take it a step further. So if you did not complete day three, if you did not watch the video, and if you did not complete the homework assignment, you're gonna have like double the work, right? So just so you know, you might wanna go back and watch that one. I have it linked in the description box below. There's an entire playlist, and there will be, as these videos keep coming out, this entire thankful for 30 challenge will all be in one playlist, so you can always revisit it. I think that's gonna be so fun, like how neat long as all goes well we're gonna have 30 videos in a row 30 days in a row that's a lot like that's that's so neat so so let's get into it today we are going to basically kind of do a goal check-in and audit okay and specifically we're not looking at those things to figure out what you didn't achieve no 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 we're looking at those things to see what progress you made I know it's nothing new. So good to see you. So yesterday in day three, we went through and you wrote a list of everything. Hopefully you wrote this list of everything that you've achieved, all of the incredible things that happened over the course of the year or even beyond that, right? And all of the memories that you want to make sure that you remember. Okay. So specifically though, we're going to now look at those goals that you maybe wrote down like, Hey, you know, I, didn't make progress on this, or I did make progress on this, or I achieved this, or whatever that might look like, okay? So you're going, only you can know your goals. So like for me, I would pull out my vision board. Now this is my November monthly vision board, so I could look at my yearly vision board, which I have hanging up on my whiteboard to do this, or I could look at my November vision board, however I wanna do that. I could look at past monthly vision boards if I wanted to, however you wanna go about doing this. There's no right or wrong way because only you know how you put your goals down. Do you write them out in a notebook? Do you make a vision board? Do you use a 12 week year? Like whatever that looks like. So what I want you to do though today, your assignment, if you will, is going to be going through those goals that you set, whether it was three months ago for a 12 week year, whether it was at the start of this year, whether it was whenever you set it, okay? And I want you to specifically note the progress that you've made on those goals. Now, I want you to also be aware, there may be some goals that you're like, I did not work on that at all. Not at all, okay? And that's okay. I think maybe you need permission right now. Maybe you're the person that needs permission and needs to hear it's okay if you made zero progress on your goals. It's okay. It's okay. Because while you may have made zero progress on some goals, I guarantee you there are going to be other goals that you absolutely crushed and then some. Like you blew that goal out of the water and you're like, wow, I probably should have set the bar a little higher for that goal, right? And then there are going to be some goals that maybe you were kind of fell in between. You didn't achieve, but you definitely made some progress on and you definitely didn't just like not address at all. And something else I want to point out when it comes to goals, Sometimes, and this happens to me, it has happened to me for years now, I'll set a goal at the beginning of the year that by this time, November 4th, I'm like, why did I even want that goal? That goal doesn't even matter to me anymore. Like I could care less about that goal, right? So just be mindful of that. You may have completely changed your mind on whether or not a goal even matters to you anymore because you set it almost a year ago, right? That's why I like to do monthly vision boards. That's why I like to sit down and set monthly goals. And then this month, of course, we're doing our monthly habit tracker. But that's why I like to do that because I want to make sure that whatever I'm working on now is relevant now. And sometimes those things change. I also few videos back, we took marker pen to paper and we literally crossed out things that we are not working on anymore because we were not going to go into the end of the year, quarter four, feeling badly because we have goals on our yearly vision board that literally are not important to us anymore. We weren't gonna do that. So we went ahead and crossed those things out. And do you know like the sigh of relief that came from that, that simple little action of just crossing that off and giving myself permission to be like, hey, that's not important right now. Maybe it's not important ever again. Maybe it's not important right now in this season of life. Maybe it's something you wanna work on in the future. But right now, for these last three months of the year, I don't wanna keep looking up at my yearly vision board and seeing something that is not appropriate or something I'm gonna be working on for these next, you know, less than 60 days at this point, right? So today, you are going to look at your goals that you set, whether they are this month, this quarter, the last six months, this year, and you are going to note 
very specifically the progress that's been made. I wanna give you an example. I love examples. I feel like examples are very helpful in this process. So for example, let's say you had a health goal. Maybe you had a health goal and you set a really steep amount of weight that you wanted to lose, okay? But when you're looking at that now, you're like, man, I did not lose. Maybe you set 50 pounds. I did not lose 50 pounds, but maybe you lost 25. That goal did not get failed. <laughs> you did not fail that goal. You made some serious progress. You lost 25 freaking pounds. Like that's a lot of weight, right? So I want you to note what you did do not what you didn't do. We are not here to bring that inner critic back, right? We dropped the more mentality. We dropped that negativity two videos back. We are here to focus specifically on what we did achieve. That's what's going to allow us to catapult forward versus staying stuck in this, I'm not good enough, I'm never going to achieve it, I suck mentality, okay? So if you can go through and you can note specifically the areas that you did make progress, you're gonna feel so incredible after that and I wanna know about it. So please, please, please do not leave me hanging. Drop it in the comments below. Another example that I wanna give you is maybe you had set a goal to pay off debt and maybe you wanted to pay completely off certain debt or you wanted to save up a certain amount of money, right? Maybe you didn't save up that certain amount of money or maybe you didn't pay off that complete debt, but maybe you did pay off a lot of it or put a lot into savings, right? You may not have hit that big mark, but you hit enough of it that that's still something worth noting. Like if you had a goal of saving $10,000 and you only saved eight, first of all, who says only saved $8,000? That's incredible. So make sure that you are noting that and cheering yourself on because that is huge. All right, so let me know what you made progress on. If you're willing to share again, just like in yesterday's video, if we could create a community of sharing the positives and the wins and the things that we're achieving right here, what a cool place this would be to visit. A lot of places on the internet are not very positive or happy, but what if this channel could be? What if the comments here could be? What if you could find the support that maybe you're not getting in your everyday life? Maybe you could find them here in this space. How neat would that be? So that's what I've got for you on this day four. I am so, so excited. I hope that you do this and I hope that you feel incredible when you get done. I cannot wait to hear about it. So until then, we will see you tomorrow for day five. See ya.